everyone, it's Darby and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about packing your backpack while traveling. So this isn't the normal kind of video on how to pack your suitcase and carry on. This is actually a backpacking video. So this is for all you girls out there that pack really heavy and like to pack a million different outfits and lots of makeup and have lots of choices but you're going to Asia or somewhere where you can only bring one backpack and you have to condense all that into just one backpack and still have room for all your safety stuff, your towel, um, your toiletries and everything else. So um, my boyfriend and I are going to Asia for two months. We're gonna go to Thailand, to Vietnam and Bali and I'm just condensing all my stuff into one backpack and still hoping to have maybe half the backpack or a little bit more for um, stuff that I'm gonna buy down there because everything's nice and cheap and we're gonna definitely bring home a lot of stuff as well. So if you're going to Asia or if you're going somewhere in Europe that you can only pack all your stuff in one tiny little backpack, whether it's a 45, a 60, or an 80. Um, today I'm gonna be talking about a 45 liter backpack um, then just keep on watching because we're gonna try to shove all our shit into one backpack. Okay, so let's start with our backpack first. So I got mine off Craigslist just from some guy that imports backpacks from China or whatever and the brand is Extreme and I got the 45 liter one because I felt like he had a 60 and a 65 one as well, but I felt like it would sit too high on your back because I'm a girl and I'm short and well not short, but I'm small and I felt like if I packed it if I had a backpack that big I would definitely pack it to the T um, Full of shit, so I decided to get the 45 one because it's just lighter traveling all around and yeah I'm not a big fan of the color. It's green and red which is ugly, but whatever, you know, backpack's a backpack and you're going traveling and it doesn't matter and it was cheap and I thought it was a pretty good deal. So this is going to be my home for the next two months because we're leaving in nine days now to go. Okay, so let's start off with the most important thing you're gonna pack in your backpack. Well, most important to me is bathing suits. So I kind of went crazy and I had a gift service with Nordstrom and I'm like, I'm going to freaking Bali in Thailand. I gotta get some cute bathing suits. So I sold all my bathing suits and I went on a little shopping spree and I bought seven new bathing suits that I'm gonna bring. So I put them in this cute, um, Victoria's Secret bag, you open it. I'm also putting my panties, um, all my thongs and stuff in these little slots here. And then in here, can't even remember what I put in here. More underwear and socks. And this says sexy little things. And then here's all my bathing suits. So I mean, I'm not gonna pack very much clothing because I'm gonna be living in bathing suits. Um, so let me go through all my bathing suits with you guys. So the first bathing suit is from Nordstrom and this is the front and this is the back and it's surfers kind of style and then just little cheeky bottoms like this and when I'm in Bali I'm planning on filming a video on like a lookbook of all my bathing suits. This is just a random top that I got, it looks like a bra but yeah, it's kind of like a padless bustier. And then I got these cute little bottoms here. They look so much better on than just holding it up. And then next bathing suit is these bottoms. And then my hair is pissing me off. And then this top, it kind of looks like a triangle bathing suit. And then in my last video, you guys probably saw this strapless top, or yep, strapless. And then these bottoms that go with it. And then my last bathing suit, nope, second last bathing suit. Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna hold this up, but this is the top. It's very Bali in Thailand. And then these are the bottoms. And then my last ones, top's in the other room. I'll have to go get it. It is these bottoms. Hold, please. And this top. So this one's also from Nordstrom. It's like this in the front. It's like this in the back. And then, I don't know if I'm gonna bring these bottoms 
but I will show you guys anyway. I can find them on the floor. It's just these cheeky little, I don't even know what one's the front or back, they're both pretty small. Um, these leopard print, I love leopard prints. So that's all my bathing suits and then you can be expecting a nice little lookbook on either the beaches of Bali, Vietnam or Thailand. So for books, we have Southeast Asia, Southeast Asia on a budget and then we have a pocket Bali book. We might only bring this one because obviously it's smaller and this one's gonna be heavy in our little backpacks. But yeah, this book's actually pretty sick because it has all like restaurants, all the cool clubs, all the cool beaches, and yeah, everything you pretty much need to know about Bali because it is a pretty small island. And it also has like Gilly Island in there and all that jazz. So we're gonna be sticking this in our travel bag too. And then of course we're gonna bring our GoPro. We actually haven't used this yet, but it's gonna be sick. We're gonna get a lot of filming done when we're there. We're gonna um, not vlog, but just kind of show like clips um, of our whole trip and then put it all together, hit a good beat in the back, and it will be a cool video. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to subscribe for more sick videos. We're gonna do like lookbooks, um, like hair, Bali hair tutorials, and like outfits all that shebang and ends. So yeah, make sure to subscribe for lots of cool footage. So for toiletries, I got this little bag from Eddie Bauer and it has a little hook up top so you can hook it on the back of the door of the bathroom and I have a bunch of little goodies in here. So in this first compartment up here, you zip it open. I have a toothbrush, band-aids, um, lip gloss in case my lips get chapped. Um, hand sanitizer, Tums for upset tummies, and then I have in this makeup wipes, my shampoo, conditioner, um, Johnson's uh, dry shampoo, or not dry shampoo, it's used as dry shampoo kind of, um, baby powder for greasy hair because we're probably not going to be washing my hair much, and then a little deodorant, and then a big thing of sunscreen, some hairspray because my hair is going to be slicked back in a shit bun the whole time, and then at the side, I have all my medications, B control, um, this is just, what one is this, I have a bunch of medications, just in case you get diarrhea or something. <laughs> which is probably gonna happen. I mean, we're going to a foreign country. And then in this front little pocket here, I have gravel, I have Imodium, I have Tylenol, um, extra tampons. And I heard that tampons are literally like $1.50 per tampon, like a dollar or something, each tampon. So make sure you bring some of those because they're expensive. And then I have some hair products in there, like um, a soft bun, and I finally got a brown one because my blonde one wasn't cutting it. And yeah, that's all I'm gonna bring for my toiletries and then Ian can, my boyfriend, can stick some of his on top there too because he's, his backpack is only a 40. Because he's a boy and he doesn't, he's not gonna bring anything. He's gonna bring like one pair of shorts, one swim trunks, and a beater which he's probably not going to be wearing a shirt the whole time. So he can stick his stuff in here because I'm checking in my bag and he's just bringing his on as a carry-on. So yeah, that's all my toiletries and all my kind of first aid care and that kind of stuff. Okay, next is these two things. One's Ian's and one's mine. And these are just kind of like sleeping bags um, for staying in hostels because we're doing this trip pretty cheap and we're going to be staying lots of hostels. So sometimes hostels aren't as nice as you'd wish, which is okay as long as it's cheap and you kind of bring your own little sleeping bag things here and they're just like cloth, like super, super thin. Um, but just for sanitary reasons, we're gonna carry around um, one of these each um, just to sleep with. For clothes, um, I'll insert a clip here of kind of an overlook of all the clothes that I'm going to be wearing, but honestly I'm just going to stick them in a bag and hope for the best. Um, we'll probably be washing our clothes once a week and when we have wet clothes and we still have to move to a destination quickly because we're probably going to be moving every um, two days to three days probably to a new destination. We bought this 
beautiful little bag here and what this is is just a waterproof bag um, what you do is you fold it here let's see how the guy explained it so you know, let's air in it you got all your stuff in there you fold it three times or four and then you clip it together over top of your backpack and then you have um, this sealed little thing here, tube here, to put all your wet clothes in, or in my case, just all my clothes in general. So I'm going to be sticking that in my backpack, and then we also bought a little one of those, and we're just going to be sharing these, and then for day travel, because you don't want to be taking your big backpack everywhere you go, like the beach or whatever, I'm just bringing a little Adidas bag, backpack, and then for even smaller day travels where you're just going to meet the store and back but you want to stay safe, um, I have just this little purse thing here that you can fit a lot in. And if you're going on even a smaller trip than that. So we got this little travel fanny pack and what we're going to be putting in this is just our passport and our money and I'd suggest only taking about $300 out at a time because if $300 gets stolen, I mean it's not the end of the world, it sucks, but it's better than like two grand getting stolen. And we're kind of happy we got these ones because the other option was getting one that goes around kind of your neck and just hangs um, down at your chest here. But people come behind you and snip the back of it and it just like falls to the ground. They take it and your money's gone. And it's hard to get a passport down there and you're going through a bunch of difficulties and you're supposed to be traveling and having a good time and not having to deal with your stuff being stolen so I think this will be really good. So for entertainment what I'm just going to be doing is obviously bringing my phone and I guess I'll have to download some games or whatever for our 14 hour flight and then our 5 hour flight after that um, but I'm going to bring some books so I'm going to bring <coughs> excuse me, this <laughs> girl boss book and then in my shoes, Tamara Milan or whatever. Um, these two books, just some fashion, fun, easy reading books um, to keep me entertained. I might bring my Paris Dream if that fits in my bag. And then I also bought this beautiful journal. So uh, it just has blank pages here and we're gonna document our whole trip. I'm gonna write down some yoga classes in here because if you didn't know, I'm a yoga instructor. Um, I'm also probably gonna bring a light yoga mat. I might even buy like one of those thin like towel, half towel, half yoga mat. Um, ones just to do it on the beach and we're going to be definitely going to lots of yoga classes while we're in Bali. So that's kind of my entertainment. So I don't know if I'm going to use this too much because I'll have nice beachy wavy hair but my mom bought me a little chi straightener which is kind of sick because you're going to be looking like kind of shit and just like a traveler for two months and like maybe a couple times out of there it would be cool to actually look good, right? So maybe I'll straighten my hair one night, throw on some makeup, sweat it all off, look like a gross hot mess, but yeah, this might come in handy. So finally putting everything in our bag. So we're gonna start off with our toiletries, um, not that important, so that's going in the bottom of our bag, then our clothes go in next, and then I'm going to be putting my bathing suits in on top, because that's probably one of the first things I will want to grab. My flip flops are just gonna be shoved in the side of my bag as well as this extra little baggie here, just rolling it up and shoving it to the side so it's easy to grab if needed. And then we're going to be placing um, our little bed sheet in there. Then I also threw extra little things in like these bags, my towels, and my bit of makeup I had. Okay guys, so that was it. I hope you guys got some ideas on how to pack for your trip or just liked watching this video and hear me babble along. But yeah, I hope you guys have a beautiful, fantastic trip. We're leaving in nine days and I'm so stoked. I'm so, so excited. It's gonna be an experience of a lifetime and that bag will be my life, including Ian, for the next two months and I'm super excited. So I hope you guys have a lovely day. Thank you guys so much for watching and I love you.